Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. A while back, we introduced you to the OpenMV H7 Cam, a sweet little camera module on a microcontroller board that you program in Python, allowing you to implement applications using machine vision in the real world. Now, if you don't have one of these yet, and you're looking to get started in color and shape detection, frame differencing, face detection, and more, you should definitely pick one up. If you already have one, don't worry, we're not bringing out a newer model, you have the latest one. What we are doing is bringing you five new components from the OpenMV line to enhance your OpenMV cam's capabilities. Allow me to introduce the OpenMV FLIR leptin adapter module, the OpenMV ultra wide angle lens, the OpenMV LCD shield, the OpenMV Wi Fi shield, and the OpenMV global shutter module. The FLIR Leptin adapter module allows your OpenMV cam to easily interface with the FLIR Leptin thermal imaging sensor for thermal vision applications. One of the many great things about the H7 cam is that it has a modular design, so swapping out the standard lens for the long range infrared imager is as simple as two screws. Now, please note that the FLIR module itself is not included with this adapter module, so you'll need to pick that up separately. The ultra wide angle lens is a quick and easy replacement for the standard lens, which offers a field of view of about 70 degrees. Simply unscrew the standard lens and screw in the ultra wide angle lens, and you've now got a field of view of 99 degrees horizontal and 81.9 degrees vertical, making this lens great for motion detection in an entire room using frame differencing without having to mount the camera so far away. It's got a focal length of 1.7 millimeters, aperture of f2.0, and a removable 650 nanometer IR cut filter, and all at a weight of only 7 grams. The LCD shield gives your OpenMV cam the ability to display what it sees on the go while not connected to your computer. It features a 1.8 inch, 128 by 160, 16 bit per pixel TFT LCD display with a controllable backlight. And your OpenMV cam's firmware already has built in support for controlling the LCD shield. The Wi Fi shield gives your OpenMV cam the ability to connect to the internet. It features an Atwink 1500 FCC certified Wi Fi module which can transmit data at up to 48 megabits per second, making it perfect for streaming video. It also offers WEP, WPA, and WPA2 security, and once the Wi-Fi shield is connected to the internet, you'll be able to send and receive data over TCP, UDP ports using MicroPython's BSD socket low-level network interface to keep prying eyes from enjoying your security stream. And just like the LCD shield, the OpenMV Cam's firmware has built-in support for controlling the Wi-Fi shield too. And finally, the Global Shutter Module allows your OpenMV cam to capture high-quality grayscale images not affected by motion blur. The module features the MT9V034 Global Shutter Camera Module, capable of taking snapshot pictures on demand, along with being able to run 80 frames per second in QVGA mode, 200 frames per second in QQVGA mode, and 400 frames per second in QQQVGA mode. It has a focal length of 2.8 millimeters, aperture of f2.0, a horizontal field of view of 70.8 degrees, vertical field of view of 55.6 degrees, and the removable 650 nanometer IR cut filter. Now, because I'm still connected to my computer, I'm seeing on the OpenMV IDE what I'm also seeing on the LCD screen. Now, of course, I could disconnect it and just run it on its own just as easily. I believe it was the great Clarie Belcher who once said, the only thing that separates us from the animals is our ability to accessorize. Well, with a handful of new components, along with somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 examples in the OpenMV IDE, you can now accessorize your H7 cam like it's your job. So check out OpenMV's new offerings, including the FLIR leptin adapter module, the ultra wide angle lens, the LCD shield, the Wi-Fi shield, and the global shutter module over at sparkfun.com. Pick up yours today, and as always, be kind, stay safe, and happy hacking. And the OpenMV Global Shutter Module. Oh boy. <laughs> to the OpenMV, what's it called? <laughs> the line to enhance your OpenMV. So close. A sweet little camera on a board, microcontroller board, right? Yeah. This one may be a while. Good thing it's not due till next week. <laughs> Easily implement machine vision applications in the real world. That was all the right words. Allowing you to easily do things. So check out the new Oh, oh fudge. <laughs> You're gonna lose. You're gonna lose. <laughs> Including the FLIR leptin module adapter, adapter module thing. 
yeah, I can do this, right? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> just, just walking through my head. 